Hi, how are you doing? I just wanted to show you some painting that I've been doing since the Z9 Diaries. Um, it's only one little painting, but I just needed a little bit of a, um, I don't know, technical break from all the JPEGs and the raw files and the technical information of photography and just do something creative, just pick up the paintbrush and um you know just just flow and that's what i love about painting is you can just go with it and just take a deep dive into the soul if you like and you haven't got this um you haven't got anything to work out you know you, you've got no settings to worry about you just pick up the paintbrush and create and so um it was a lovely little outlet for me and it kind of got me sort of really um, reflecting on things. And I wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to show you um, the painting that I did and just show you how it sort of came about, really. Um, so I didn't know what I was painting when I picked the paintbrush up. And I often do this. I knew the colours that I wanted to use. And as I was painting, um, I remembered that I was really, really inspired by a movie that I recently watched a few weeks back. It's called All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, and although it was really disturbing to watch, um, quite horrific in places, I was just amazed by the use of colour in that movie. It was absolutely fantastic. Just what they did, it, they had this blue and orange um, colour scheme, if you like, running throughout the entire movie. And I always love watching movies and picking up on the lighting and the colour. And this was just, it blew me away. I was annoying Adam because every scene that came, I was saying, look, blue and orange again, you know, and it was different. It was like um, one minute, it would be like the blue of the coldness of the landscape with um, the, you know, the orange glow in the sky of the the fire and then in the next scene they would be in a room and there would be like I don't know like orangey curtains and a blue sofa or something it wasn't that but it was similar and um, even on one scene there was it was kind of just a bluish tone all over I think and then there was um, he had a hanky with a little bit of embroidery on the hanky and the embroidery was orange and it just stood out like it was absolutely amazing and it really, really inspired me artistically. And I think paying attention to the colour wheel is always great when you're doing photography or art because, you know, you can pick those complementary colours that set each other off. And that's what blue and orange are. They're complementary. And I've always loved the, um, the two together, like blue jeans, orange jumper. Um, my off-road motorbike was orange, so I got blue kit to go with it. It's like they just set each other off absolutely beautifully. So that was why I picked blue and orange. So all I knew was that I was um, going to paint with blue and orange and that I had that movie in my mind, I guess. Um, when I got the paints out, I realised, oh yeah, that was the last thing that inspired me. So let's create something. And I just started painting. I didn't really know what way it was going to go up, so I kind of turned the canvas around a few times and then I started kind of painting um, the, well, you'll see, you'll see the painting develop as we watch. But, but I felt like um, I always get a little bit of wisdom through, from my paintings. And in this particular case, I really felt like there's wisdom in like, areas where soldiers are fallen there's wisdom in those hills you know where the where the bodies are kind of thing it's just it's it's fascinating to reflect on your ancestors that have fallen there and that it just feels like there's wisdom in the hills i, I don't know that's what i got from this painting that i did anyway it was like really nurturing for me to just pick up the paintbrush and um, I suppose what I did was I put the trees in the foreground just to give it some foreground, to give it that sense of depth. So you kind of got the clouds there I put in at the end as well. So you've got that layering effect. Um, I mean, sometimes it's good to plan 
a painting so that you get it compositionally right and you know I have done that in the past I've spent ages planning a painting and really thought it out and got it in my mind what I want to create before I create it and other times it's good to work from a from a photo but sometimes it's just good to just see what wants to come out and um, there's a painting that I did of my two brothers it was it was from a photo and it just inspired me to paint it even that I was just reflecting on that looking at it just a minute ago and like the rocks um, in the foreground they're sitting on these rocks and if it was just a block of brown with no highlights it would be you know obviously um, very flat wouldn't it but it just all it takes is like a few brush strokes with like I usually try and go for a dark a mid-tone and a highlight so I might get for example like a browny colour and I might mix a dark brown from it and then add some white and have a light so I've got three tones of the same colour and then that gives you your your shadows your mid-tones and your highlights and I love doing that and I think it's like a really sweet reminder that without the shadows you wouldn't have the highlights and it's just like a reminder about life as well isn't it if we haven't got the shadows it doesn't the highlights don't pop as much without the shadows and that's what I was reflecting on when I looked at this picture you know when times are hard I reflect on these philosophical things and things make more sense when you get creative don't they <sighs> I mean, I could read you my poem as well, couldn't I, while I'm here, that I wrote yesterday. Shall I read it to you? Yeah, OK. Because just, you know, while you're watching that. So I'm not going to lie, times have been really hard this end, and um, I have been hanging on by a thread, to be completely honest with you. I think this poem kind of will explain a little bit about what's been going on. Um, it's called No More Detention. Getting through one day at a time, telling myself everyone's fine. Must stay positive, be strong for others. Compassion flows to all the mothers. I ain't against the teachers, everyone doing their best. But there's so much to get off my chest. Our kids are not robots, they can't cope with all this. Point res pointless responsibilities, stealing childhood bliss. They try to conform, their spirit broken. Getting in trouble, their pain unspoken. On and on, then one day they snap. And then what happens? Some detention crap. Life can be fleeting, it could end any day. Our kids stuck in a classroom until a strike against pay. Mixed up priorities, curriculum skewed, the whole thing must be reviewed. In the meantime, we'll go our own way. There will be challenges, but we'll be okay. No more detention for being a bit late, endless homework up for debate. Finding headspace, downtime nourishing, creativity flows, eventually flourishing. Music, art, time to play, true gifts uncovered, some time away. A new community, characters blend, seize opportunity, let's set a new trend. Where freedom allows space to grow, our own discipline, because we don't feel low. It starts today, speaking our truth. The world is a mess. There's our proof. Join me now. Don't delay. Us parents, let's have our say. <sighs> so I don't know if this resonates with you, with any of you. Um, we're just looking into homeschooling and hopefully getting Josh out to learn some photography with me and letting his, you know, music creation um flourish really but i think so many kids are just completely overwhelmed like being taken out of school because of covid and then having to go back and conform and and then the stress of exams and you know doing so many different subjects there's just so much for them to take on and the homework is like just endless so while I was doing this painting, Josh was actually beside me doing another painting of his own um, 
and just I think it's such a great outlet if you're feeling pent up just to pick up a paintbrush doesn't matter what the result is it something's got to come out you know the Z9 diary so inspired me artistically like uh, so many times I took a picture and just wanted to pick up the brush and paint it so it's really good I think to explore all different creative arts and photography can be in the middle of all that you know but it doesn't just have to be photography you, we can branch out and do different things and like bring them together as well and photography is the like the thing that gets you outside isn't it out in nature and that is such a gift and then that can inspire other creative things and you know while we're doing that painting we have music on and it's all like it's all therapy it really is it's a therapy anything creative it's it's incredibly healing I've been invited to capture a spiritual retreat um, so I will be staying there and capturing the retreat and um, hopefully I'll be able to share a lot of that with you guys on the channel um, so I'll be taking my d3 my d800 and hopefully that little Canon camera that I had in the Masai Mara fingers crossed I'll have that to take with me Stay tuned and I can't wait to share that with you. See you soon. Bye.